Hello, what's up, and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Darkest 24 7 production. And today, we are jumping back into the SAU Dynasty here in NCAA 06 on the PlayStation 2. Now, today's opponent, we're going to be taking on Texas AM. They're ranked number 23 in the whole country. So you know that this is going to be a fantastic game. They are our rival for this dynasty. So we will be playing them each and every year. Last year, it came down to the final drive. Hopefully, this year could be the same outcome. However, Tony Campbell, our star freshman quarterback, He's been messing up in class. The teacher been warning him. The professor been warning him. So I had to suspend him for the first half of the game. NCAA interest is getting way too high. This is the second time that he's been suspended. So if if, if Gaines plays well, we might just stick with him the rest of the game. The whole game. Just to show Tony Campbell a lesson. So right here, Terrence Hamilton drops back the pass. He's going to look for his man over the middle, John Palmer. But he can't come up with it. Now he's going to go to Dean. And Dean makes the catch over the middle. And that's going to result in a first. Damn, move those chains from Texas name. Play action pass. Terrence has it. Hamilton over to the left side, deep down the field, and that's going to be caught by Ryan Williams. He makes the catch, his first of the ball game. Big time catch, gets it down to the 12 yard line of SAU. So here we go on third down. Hamilton steps up in the pocket, takes a shot to the end zone, and double coverage is going to go out of the back of the end zone. So Texas AM will have to set up for a field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good so texas and a and m they strike first three nothing in the score we take over from our own 22 yard give us a david carter huge hit on the play carter picks up a gain of two that's the first time i've seen him get hit that hard this season fabian spicer over the middle makes the catch picks up a gain of about eight now it's gonna be third and one from the 31 yard line that gives a david carter is running over to the right side sprints upfield gives the man a stiff form carries another for a gain of about 15 big time play right there from the 42 yard line now gains under pressure and down he goes jolly gets there for his 14th career sack so that's going to bring up fourth down, so we'll force the punt. Terrence Hamilton lines up in the out formation. Going to give the ball to Abdullah. Up that guy in the big fullback. Bumbles and stumbles his way forward. But Freddie Abdullah, he is hurt, but he will return to this one. So Texas AM, they still have it to give us to Anthony Broussard. And he is off to the races, being chased by Lott. But Lott won't catch him. 20-10-5 touchdown, Anthony Broussard. And that is going to be another score for Texas AM. And now we are down by 10. SAU, we might be in just a little bit of trouble as Anthony Bouchard streaks down the middle of the field. Lock gave chase, but Lot is just too big and too slow. But we're going to find somebody much quicker. That's Fabian Spice. A nice pass by Carl Gaines, and that's going to result in another first down for SAU. It's very important that we put some points up on this drive. Direct snap to David Carter. Carter crosses the 50 in the Texas AM territory. Finally gets brought down at the 45 yard line. Four carries for 30 yards for David Carter. From the 45 now screen pass. Ella B, he's going to get upfield and Ella B gets a block and he's going to pick up a nice gain of eight. Nice solid pickup right there through the uh, passing game. David Carter has it. He's sprinting to the right side. He's going to get across the 30. Gets brought down at around the 27 yard line. Move those chains for the Bulls. First and 10. Our formation gives to David Carter again. Makes a man miss. Then he gets hog tied up high. And he's going to get brought to that after a couple on the game. Here we go with Fabian Spice on another slant route. And he's going to pick up a first down. And SAU is coming up clutch on this drive. From the 10, y'all can go to the flat. We're going to find David Carter who gets in there with the receiving touchdown. And that's exactly what we needed. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Getting on board, not with a field goal, but with the touchdown. And now SAU is right back in it but the question is can the defense hold Hamilton drops back the pass quickly takes off a run he's gonna run over a man and he will pick up a first down the big quarterback showing that he can also move the football on the ground right there trying to find Dean but he can't get his hands on it and that is gonna wrap up the first quarter of play SAU down by three versus number 23 team in the country so Terrence Hamilton, empty backfield, he's going to take him on, gets away from a defense alignment, gets away from another guy, and now he finally gets brought down by Austin Bracer, but now he picks up a big first down and does some damage on his way. Breaks one tackle right there, breaks another, and he was off to the races. Third and one, third and inches, excuse me, from the 30 yard line. Anthony Broussard with some running room, he's going to get upfield, big gain on the play, and Anthony Nobles, he appears to be hurt, so bring in Wilson, our backup free safety. 
Hamilton looking, firing. He's going to find his man Cooper, and he's going to pick up a nice gain. Now it's going to be second and goal up that guy, and he's going to get into the end zone. Broussard with another touchdown, his second on the day. 17-7 to in the score. Gaines dropping back the pass, going to find Johnson. Had to come back to it, so that's only going to be a gain of a few inches. Third and nine for the 21 now. Play action pass. Carl going to take a shot deep. That's going to be batted away. And SAU goes three and out. Already down by 10. And now Terrence Hamilton starts off a great field position. Taking a shot deep. And that's going to be caught by John Palmer. Going up high to get that one over the DB. Looking like the big boss Randy Moss from back in the day. Big time play right there by Texas a and Three minutes to go in the second quarter. It's very important that we get something going right here. They give it to David Carter. A little direct snap to him. Look at those yards for his career. Over 1,700. The young man's been bowling. They send pressure off the edge. And Lewis gets in there. His third tackle and his first sack of the ball game. Second and 16 now for games. Screen pass. Ellaby with the man in front. That's Carter who gives him an excellent block. And that will result in a first down move. Those chains for the Bulls. From the 48-yard line now. First and 10. Over the middle, we're going to find Johnson. Holds on to it. And Johnson's going to pick up a gain of seven. Second and three. The direct snap goes the opposite way. As David Carter finds running room to the left side. Gets brought down to the 32-yard line. Another first and 10 for the SAU Bulls. Gains. Another screen pass. This time to Fabian Spicer to the left side. Gets down the left side. Inside the 20. Down to the 15-yard line. First and 10 for the 15 for the San Antonio Bulls. And the ball is loose as David Carter fumbles it. But luckily we're there to recover it. Now dropping back the pass is Gaines. Gaines under pressure. Throws this one as he gets hit. That's going to be intercepted. And Texas A&M gets right back on it. And they have a chance not only to flip field position by driving this thing downfield. But they also have a chance to score. We were looking to drive down the score, but now they have a chance to do the same. They're going to find Ryan Williams. He gets upfield. He's going to turn that short pass into a long game. Move those chains for Texas A&M. Going over the middle. Going to find Lester. He makes the catch, and now Texas A&M is cooking. Out of the out formation. Goal line set. They're going to find Anthony Broussard in the flat, and he's going to pick up the first down. Second and 10 for Hamilton. Taking the shot deep downfield. No, he actually drops it off to Ryan Williams, and that pass will only pick up two. Play action. Terrence Hamilton over the middle, and they convert on another third down. SAU, the defense cannot get off the field on third down. Texas A&M still has it. Going to take a shot deep in the double coverage, but uh-uh-uh. Get that thing up out of there. Big time pass play by Lee. Graham was back there too. They cannot let John Palmer go over the top again. And they bat that thing away. Hamilton with Tom Fodgers one. That's going to be dropped by Anthony Nomos who checks back into the ball game. So Texas a and going to have to set up for a field goal. The kick is up and the kick is good. So it's not looking too good. 27-7 is the score at half. We got to figure something out. We got to get something going. And here comes our man. Tony Campbell. First and 10 and set up a screen. Set up a, a pitch play, excuse me. The speed option. And the speed option goes nowhere. Texas AM, they sniffed that one out. Dropping back the pass. Campbell taking the shot deep. Campbell has a man in double coverage. And Fabian Spicer comes up with the clutch reception. Huge catch. Huge pass play. Tony Campbell, the freshman, comes in the ball game and shows that he is not intimidated by Texas A&M. Going to take another shot deep, and that's caught by Fabian Spicer again. And could this be the start of something special? Could this be a comeback? Could this be something that SAU's been waiting for? A win over their rival. Going to find Johnson over the middle. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown SAU Bulls. On the very next possession for Texas A&M, Butler gets in there for the sack. Takes down. Terrence Hamilton, he just came in there untouched. Big time play by Butler. Dropping at the pass is Hamilton. Taking the shot deep, but that pass will fall incomplete as well. Trying to find Dean down the middle of the field. Hamilton looking to Dean. Dean can't make the catches. That pass sails out of bounds. And on the defense, forces a huge three and out. Now David Carter on the direct snap. This defense is all over there. Not going to let David Carter beat them today. Spicer. No, that's not Spicer. That's Johnson. And Johnson can't hang on to it. Third and 11 from the 37. Shotgun set. One tight end, one running back. Huge play right here in the ball game. Rolls to the right side. Throws back across his body. And that will be caught by Fabian Spicer. His seventh catch for a buck 62 already in this ball game. And this ball game is far from done. Campbell looking. Ellaby down the middle of the field. Makes the catch. Gets it to the end zone. Touch 
down SAU Bulls and now it is a six point game. Tony Campbell, the true freshman, has come in and he has been throwing nothing but darts. Big time game by him already, only on two drives. Ryan Williams makes the catch from Terrence Hamilton and he's gonna pick up a first down. Hamilton gives the ball to Broussard and Anthony Broussard goes nowhere. Shut down, big time play again by Butler. Now second and 12, Hamilton's gonna take off and run and use his speed, but Jesse Graham, he's gonna catch him at about the 40 yard line. So it's third and fourth from the 40 yard line. They go to the goal line, set to give us Anthony Broussard. He gets bottled up, he gets free inside the 20, breaks a tackle, breaks another, and he is in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And now this lead goes back up to 13. Look at this run, he was bottled up, got free, then he just broke two tackles to get himself in the end zone. Unbelievable play right there. So here we go, we take back over, SAU has the football direct snap to David Carter and again this Texas A&M defense, excuse me, is just shutting the run down. They give the ball to Fabian Spicer, he's going to get stopped one yard short. Very next play, false start by the right tackle and we go from third and one to third and six. So here we go, third down from the 27, going to take a shot over the middle, trying to hit Johnson, trying to get him more involved. But maybe we should have looked to hit Fabian Spicer on that route. He is our go-to receiver. Hamilton going to take off again. Hamilton gets up field. Jesse Graham, the sophomore strong safety, comes up and brings him down. Second and five. Play fake. Going to throw this one to Freddie Abdullah. Abdullah gets up field. Finally gets brought down by Bracer. But not until he picks up a first down. Move those chains for Texas A&M. And then Blue Star with another carry. Gets brought down by Jesse Graham. And now I can feel that Texas A&M is going to lean heavy on this running game. They give is Dubrasar gets away from Nobles. Nobles giving chase. Wilson giving chase. He breaks the tackle from Wilson, and Nobles finally chase him down. And Long is hurt, and I don't know if Long is coming back. It looks pretty serious, but that's gonna do it for the third quarter of play. 34 to 21. It's very important that the SAU holds this team to a field goal. Anthony Dubrasar had different plans, though. No field goal for Texas A&M. He's just gonna make it a 20-point ball game. Touchdown run by him again. What an unbelievable day for Anthony Broussard, but SAU, we still have time. We're going to find Fabian Spicer. He's going to get brought out of bounds after a gain of eight. Third and two. From the 23 yard line, David Carter going to fight his way forward and picks up a first down. Slow and steady wins the race, but right here, we got to pick things up. Campbell looking. Campbell throwing, and that's going to be intercepted by Jacobs. He was looking for David Carter. I'm thinking that he was supposed to go to the flat, so Tony Campbell kept throwing it, but it looked like David Carter turned up field at the last second and that led to the interceptor by Jacob so here comes Hamilton Hamilton throwing this one over the middle that's gonna be caught by Dean and Curtis Dean gets into the end zone touch down Texas A&M and now this ball game might be out of reach Campbell still playing though Campbell fires this one gonna find the big tie then gets chased from behind but he's gonna pick up the first down but he appears to be shaking up on the play Campbell gonna roll out Campbell gonna fire this one over the middle and that's gonna be intercepted looking for Frazier but Frazier didn't make a play on the football and that's the third interception on the day for our quarterbacks two by Campbell one by games John Palmer he makes the catch over the middle and that's gonna result in a first down second and ten Hamilton looking to throw gonna find Ryan Williams and he's gonna pick up a first down gets brought down by Terry his first tackle of the ball game Hamilton with time Hamilton taking a shot deep and that pass uh 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 Get that thing up out of here. Now we take back over. Tony Campbell, he's going to pitch this thing to David Carter, and Texas A&M will not allow this running game to get going. Second and eight. Campbell steps up in the pocket, now he rolls to the right side. Nothing there. Rolls back to the left side. Has running room in front. Crosses the 40, gets in the Texas A&M territory, makes a man miss, and gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Big time play by the true freshman showing all types of composure. Yes, he's thrown two interceptions here in the second half, but he has to take some chances. Campbell, look at Campbell getting hit. The offensive line allowed a jailbreak up front. Campbell gonna roll out to the left side. Takes a shot deep down to Johnson. He can't get his hands onto it, and it gets tipped and intercepted again by Newell, his second on the day. Anthony Broussard takes back over, gives the he gets the carry, excuse me, but Taper, he's gonna bring him down. Second and 11 to give it to, to Broussard again. Breaks another tackle, gets upfield, finally gets chased down by Graham. 
It looks like this one is just about over to this game. Look to run out the clock and they pick up another first down and that's going to keep the clock moving and it's going to keep possession with Texas A&M. Anthony Broussard with another carry and another gain of about three. Freddie Abdullah up the gut and Abdullah the big fullback gets the carry and picks up the first down. Gets brought down by Austin Bryson. First and 10 to give us to Gilliam, and he's going to get up field, and he's going to pick up a first down, and that's going to be all she wrote. SAU drops another ball game, this time versus their rival. It was a great effort in the second half by Tony Campbell, but in the end, just not, a, not, not enough big plays and not enough time after we came that we after we start the second half down by uh, 20, it was just going to be an uphill battle from there. But Tony Campbell came in throwing nothing but hot fire, throwing nothing but darts. Got Texas, got Texas A&M back on their heels as SAU made it a 21 to 27 ball game. Then we, then they drive down and they get another score. So we're down by 13, and then we go three and out. And after that point, after we went three and out. After we couldn't get the running game going, it was just very apparent to me and to SAU that we had to start taking some more chances, but that made it a little bit more harder on Tony Campbell, and that's when the interception started to come more frequently. So a tough loss here at Texas A&M. We will see them again just like we will see Georgia again. But Tony Campbell, very disappointed, man. This is the second time in this season that he has been suspended. He was suspended for the Notre Dame game, for the USC game, and now for half of the Texas A&M game, man. But that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see you all later. Peace. Hi, sauce.